I hope you're all having an awesome day. Um, I'm just about to make a smoothie, keto style, so high in fat, low in carbs. This is a smoothie that I make every single morning without fail, um, apart from my days off where I make pancakes or nice salmon and egg breakfasts. Um, but today I'm going to make my smoothie. So it's got coconut oil, almond and coconut milk, avocado, impact whey protein, chocolate smooth is the best. I love that one. Um, frozen raspberries, mixed berries, and 70% smooth dark chocolate, lint style. It's so yummy. Um, so I'm going to start with a quarter of an avocado. This just gives me like a boost of high fats, but it's not saturated fats and it's good to keep me full throughout the day. Um, I've recently started upping my fats and lowering my carbs. So I eat about 60% fats at the moment and 20% carbs, 20% protein. Is that right? My maths is so bad, hence why I was in bottom set. Um, I then have about half a tablespoon of coconut oil, more good fats. I know there's a massive debate on whether coconut oil is good or bad for you at the moment, but unless you're eating like massive amounts of sugar, I don't think you really need to be worrying about your fat intake that much as fats are actually good for you and keep you full. Head to my blog, rocketandhoney.com, if you want to find out more about that. I've recently done a blog post on keto-style eating, um, and my recipe, my smoothie recipe is up on there as well. So I add about 50 grams of frozen raspberries, and then also 50 grams of frozen mixed berries, just to give some flavour. Obviously, I know these are quite high in carbs because it is sugar, um, but in proportion to everything everything else, it evens out and still pretty low carb. I then add about 300 millilitres of almond and coconut milk. You can also just use like, like sometimes I use leftover broccoli water from cooking my broccoli at dinner. This is such a good way to get your nutrients and it's also way cheaper. I then add one scoop, 25 grams of my chocolate protein powder, blend it all up which is the best bit because it goes all pretty in pink. Um, so today I'm making a smoothie bowl. So I am going to make it look all pretty, add some toppings. I normally, so if you want to make a smoothie bowl, the best thing to do is add like add coconut milk rather than water because it will make it thicker. So it's better, it's more like ice cream. It's so good. It's like an ice cream, the best thing ever. So pour it all into your bowl. It looks so pretty. Yeah, I can't leave those bottom bits in. I've just got to eat those. And then I'm gonna add some chia seeds and some frozen berries. And also some chocolate shavings because we all know dark chocolate is just, just the best thing ever. And especially first thing in the morning, you're actually better to eat dark chocolate or any chocolate or sugar in the morning than in the evening. Because obviously you're not going to burn off the sugar in the evening while you sleep as you only really burn carbs when you exercise. So that's why we only really need like to eat bananas and high sugared fruits before the gym because it'll give you an energy boost. Um, so it's not really necessary to have at night. Although I do love dark chocolate and a cup of tea in the evening. That has to be my favourite thing ever. Um, I'm not sure how well I sleep because of it though. But oh well. Oh, this smoothie bowl is looking so great. Looks really pretty. Anyway, what else can we add? I think I'll add some like chunks of dark chocolate as well. And then I gotta make some pretty pictures from it for you guys. See ya. And there we have it. Got dark chocolate. I finally 
made it to the gym. Woo! That's the first step. The first step is actually getting up and going, which is the hardest bit. Um, maybe, kind of. Actually, maybe the hardest bit is actually doing the work. Um, but I made it, and I'm here. Anyway, I am going to start with tricep dips. So I'm going to do 20 times three. Um, yeah, these hurt. These really hurt. If you find it too easy, straighten your legs, um, and that definitely makes it harder. Also remember to go down low, so your elbows should go parallel to your shoulders. That's the best way to get the most out of it, and do it slow. That's what make, makes it hurt. The next thing I have got is tricep extensions. So I'm going to do 12 reps of this three times. You can always add in a drop set, so do lower the weight and add another 15 after each set or at the end of your sets. This, you need to keep your core strong. Like It's such a good movement for abs as well. I find when I've done abs the day before, I literally can't even do these because it kills, kills my abs so much. So keep your abs strong, your core strong. And make sure you're doing the work in your arms, like in your triceps. Don't move your body back and forth with it. It's not a rowing movement. You need to work those arms, girls. I have then got chest press. So I'm doing a wide grip chest press with this. Um, I, I'm going to do it. So I've got 15, 12, 10, 8. And each time I go down in sets, uh, in rep size, I'm going to go up in weights. Um, I am currently bench pressing 30 kilograms um which I'm finding pretty hard <laughs> and I sometimes fail which isn't fun so I have to do it with someone else when I'm going to bench press that but I love these ones and I found I've got like I can actually see a cleavage now which I've got really small boobs so I didn't have before so that's nice like I don't look really muscly in the chest but it's kind of I've got like a shadow line which I like. I'm enjoying this. So do the chest workout, girls. Um, I'm then going to go on to close grip bench press with the barbell. So I do this on at about 25 kilograms. Yeah, 25 kilograms at the moment. And I do it for 10 reps and three sets each time. So this one's good for, like, you have to keep your elbows tucked in to make it work your arms but I love this one as well. It's great. Let's go work out, girls. I hope you liked my video. Don't forget to go and like and subscribe. Also, go check out my blog at www.rocketandhoney.com. Um, you should definitely subscribe. I've got a newsletter at the moment, which I'm loving, all about nutrition, health, working out, my journey through BBG with Kylo at Zinnis, and now I'm doing Grace Fit Guide which I love because it's more weight training and I can eat more food, which who doesn't want to eat more food really? So yeah, go check out my blog. All the links are in the bio. You can see what workouts I've been doing, what I'm doing now. And yeah, have a great day. Love you. Bye.